You know, does that mean there's a part two coming? I have so many questions, and that is why we get to speak to Chile Shebwadia right about now. Prominent Zambian female gospel artist Chile Shebwadia recently announced the name of her forthcoming album. Making a comeback after seven years, Chile Shebwadia shared that her album will be called Gold in the Details Part 1. In an exclusive interview with Diamond TV's Inside Showbiz, Chile Shebwadia says that the name of the album is very definitive of the content on the album. Um, because it's very definitive of the content of the album, um, I mean, I touch a lot of different aspects that you don't get to hear in most gospel music. I mean, I'm a worshiper, but at the same time, I'm a minister of the gospel. And, you know, when you go back, if you, if you saw the post that I shared um, with the announcement, um the, the, the NLT version of that scripture says that the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives, just to um, read a short part of it. And basically, that, that is, that's the awareness that the album is being God is interested in every detail of our life. Sometimes we, we think, you know, God is just concerned about what we can do for Him or us giving our lives to Him. But he's absolutely concerned about every little detail, concerned about, uh, you know, what we eat, what we wear, our hair, everything. You know, he's very specific in, in how he's created us, such that he even knows the number of the hairs of, on our heads. That's what the album is about, God in the details. Chile Shebwadia went on to say that despite the growth she has encountered, the album is still very much her and will carry the same truth element to the music. Um, I beg to differ, actually. I feel like Tala is a whole lot of me. And it's just expressed differently. I mean, obviously the sound has grown, the sudden of growth in the sound. I mean, it's been seven years since the last album, so for people to expect the same sound for me is... You know, yeah. It's just it's just there's been a lot of growth and I'm I'm humbled with the the, um, the reception that the song has received. Uh but it's still me, it's still my sound, it's still um how I speak when I speak in music. I've just grown a lot. I was twenty four when I released my first album, I'm thirty one now. So I've had different experiences with God. Um, I can't say it's exactly the same, but there's still the, the worship element, there's still the truth element to my music because there's, there's always been that in my music. She also told Diamond TV's Inside Showbiz that part two of the album isn't so far off as she spent a month in studio working. There's a part two coming and it's not going to come too far from the part one, actually. Um, I spent a whole month in studio and we recorded a lot of songs. Um, a lot of great songs. It was very difficult to pick, uh, you know, like the standard album number of songs. So I decided that, you know, I was just going to do part one and part two and give everything to the people. So, I mean, whatever they like, they like. Whatever they don't, they don't. But at the end of the day, for me, it's about putting out the truth, putting out my experience with God and putting out a ministry that will impact people and help them grow deeper in love with Jesus. The album, called In the Details But 